That scene looks like something that should be on the cover of Field and Stream. Where do you think it is? Colorado? The Pacific Northwest? Maybe Vermont? The Adirondacks? Nope, it's Salem. There are trout, and we're talking a bunch of them, finning around in the waters of the Roanoke River, not too far from downtown Salem. How do we know? Well, we watched the Commonwealth of Virginia put them in there. The Roanoke River is one of a few so-called urban waterways managed for trout by the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, and that is by design. We really uh, work hard to try to provide opportunities in urban metropolitan areas for anglers to get out and fish locally. Wow, talk about almost perfect. This stretch of the Roanoke River, where it runs through Salem and then further downstream in Roanoke, is the type of water VDWR is looking for to fulfill its urban fisheries mission. The water quality's high, setting's beautiful, and it's close to a lot of people. It's a larger stream, um, which, is, which is great. The, the angler access, the greenway that I'm standing behind here, uh, is, is, is great. It's kind of in an urban area. That's, that's something we're, we're really um, interested in more recently now uh, with, with uh, bringing this, these types of resources, these fishing resources to urban areas where there's more, more of a population center and we, and we get that here in Salem, the Salem Roanoke area. One other thing that makes the Roanoke prime, access for DWR stockers. They can get fish into the river quickly, safely, and easily. These guys will put hundreds of trout, mostly rainbows, into this stretch of the Roanoke every time they stock between now and June. To give you an idea, uh, it, uh, for us, a stream this size right here, it's going to be several hundred fish uh, every every time we stock. And this is a, this is uh, there, there's different categories of, of stock trout waters, and it's based on the number of times the frequency we stock. This is an A water, and in A waters are stocked eight times uh, between October 1st. And, and June 1st. One thing is for sure, the folks involved with this special program love their trout, but on this stretch of the river, they also love for you to catch them. And making it easy for you to get to a stream where you can do that is an important part of targeting urban fisheries. And it provides anglers an opportunity to get out and fish close to home for uh, brown rainbow and brook trout without actually having to drive up, up into the mountains. Easy, quiet, getting away from electronics. Getting away from you know, just the busyness and all the stuff that's going on with the corona today. 